uh, this is TV advertising, how to attribute um, mobile app installs. So that's the topic. We're very excited that you joined us here today. Um, basically, the purpose of this webinar is to give you a bit of an understanding of basically how you can benefit from the attribution of mobile app installs and measure your TV advertising and kind of connect those two dots and see uh, from the TV ads that you guys are running or might be running, um, pointing to your app, how do you actually see how many installs those ads drove? So kind of the, the data-driven approach to marketing in a nutshell. And uh, with me today, we have Marius, who's an integration engineer at Adjust, and Christopher, who's the head of product at YY. My name is Fabian. I'm going to be hosting this webinar for you. I uh, just wanted to point to a few organizational things before we kick it off. Uh, we're using uh, the GoToWebinar uh, software and it has a, a question panel. So if you at any point in time have questions to either Marius, which are directed more at Adjust and Mobile Attribution, then just feel free to put them into the question panel. And the same goes, of course, for Christopher and YY and everything that's related to the uh, TV advertising and monitoring that they offer. So if you have any questions uh, about how the software works, um, any questions about the approach or the integration in general, just feel free to use the question panel and I'll make sure we get to all of those questions uh, at the very end of the presentation. It will be about uh, 25 to 30 minutes. Uh, and yeah, we'll also send around the slides as well as the recording. If you, for example, want to share it with your colleagues or you have to drop off at any point, that's no problem at all. Okay. Uh, without further ado, um, I'll pass it on to Marius, who will talk a bit about uh, Adjust and what it is that we can basically do for people that do TV advertising. Thanks for the introduction, Fabian. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, I hope you learn a lot new new things today when it comes to about uh, TV attribution. So maybe just to kick it off. Um, so I'll give you a brief intro in what do we actually do here, what Adjust is about. So we are a mobile measurement company providing uh, analytics and measurement solution to mobile app marketeers worldwide. Um, we've been around since 2012 and um, basically operate with the idea to help our clients and to simplify the mobile ecosystem. With so many different uh, platforms around, you can obviously imagine that sometimes to measure all of them, it, it can become quite a monumental task to do this on your own. Um, so we just go ahead, we take out all the guesswork out uh, and give you all the tools that you need to measure, attribute and uh, analyze your mobile engagements. Uh, maybe to talk about the numbers, which you can also see on the screen. Um, we're currently ranked as number one uh, mobile attribution SDK used for iOS apps. SDK, just to let you know, it's a software development kit. Um, talking about further about it, as you know, it's, it's mobile measurement analytics. We, we actually love numbers. Uh, so we've been integrated so far over 22,000 times. Um, we have over 140 employees, or over 14 global offices to look at all those numbers. and. Uh, as you can probably imagine, there's, there's quite a lot of data as on a monthly basis, we process over 100 billion different data points, which amounts to a total of two petabytes of data. Um, actually, before the webinar itself, I was trying to look up for some real life examples or representation of how to imagine this amount of information processed. So the image that made most sense, you can equalize it to approximately 26 years of HD video. So that, that's a quite a long TV series or a movie you would like to watch. So maybe to continue and, and to look into ecosystem itself of mobile marketing and industry of it, um, when it comes to it, you have to consider three main action points here. So we have to talk about the user engagement, app install attribution to the engagement question, um, and of course the notification about the finalized attribution data. So first touch point you always have is the engagement itself, whether user sees an ad or, or clicks on it. Um, with the help of our partners, we, we, take care, we take care of the promotion here for, for our clients. We track all the information about those engagements, uh, which we later will be using uh, in the attribution processes, obviously. So upon the user install, 
Our tool, as mentioned before, the SDK, abbreviation for Software Development Kit, integrate within the app of our client, notifies our servers about the user activity, about the install, which is the first point the user encounters once he downloads the app from the App Store. And that's where the magic happens on its own. So based on the engagements we've seen so far for the user incoming to our servers, and we just go ahead and try to match those installs we track from our clients' apps to the engagements we've seen coming from our partners. Um, upon a successful match, obviously, we notify all the partners in all involved in this process, so whether it's, it's clients, uh, third-party business intelligence platforms who our clients might be using as well, or the partners who are actually delivering the engagement in question. And beyond this, we also give you an option to track any sort of post-install app events you might want to see in our dashboard. Um, so we can be talking about the registrations or mobile purchases. Basically, any sort of action you can imagine can be tracked. And based on those, we allow you to monitor how engaged your users actually are within the app itself. Uh, when it comes to measuring TV advertising, though, there's no actual way for us to track user engagements real time. So I'll pass it on here to Chris here um, to give you a bit more details how YY operates. Thank you, Marius. Um, just really briefly before I get into the ins and outs of TV attribution uh, that we want to talk about today, um, for those of you not familiar, um, YY, uh, our, our mission, maximizing TV advertising ROI. So we're all about helping marketers and TV advertisers um, get the most out of their campaigns. We do that mainly through two different products. One is TV analytics, what we're going to be talking about today, TV attribution um, for mobile app installs. We also work with a number of other partners for website traffic. Before we get into that, um, what we also do where we work with our clients is TV synchronization of online ads to the TV app. So what we do here, whenever we have um, a TV airing, we work with our partners um, for real-time uh, for real-time bidding uh, through exchanges and trade desks. We uh, synchronize search campaigns uh, together with Google AdWords. Um, we also work with companies like Optimizely um, or Adobe with their target product, synchronizing websites um, to match TV ad airing content in real time. We're active in the U.S. and Europe. Um, we have offices in New York, London, and we're based in Munich. So what we really wanted to talk about today um, is TV attribution. So what we're looking at here is the basic concept of how TV attribution works. So we have website traffic or app installs um, coming in, and the second data point that YY then provides through uh, real-time monitoring of linear TV is the exact airing time. And when you marry these two, two data sets together graphically, um, like we do here, what we almost immediately always see is that gray dotted line representing what we call the baseline traffic. So the number of, of incoming hits or installs that we expect to see at any given time. And then after a TV airing, that huge increase in traffic um, from that TV-inspired audience, um, shaded in orange here on this slide. And what YY provides is calculating that incremental increase, that uplift in traffic or installs uh, in, an auto way, in an automated way using algorithms um, within our own attribution model. And maybe just to, to illustrate um, the difference between uh, visits and, and app installs. So this is an example uh, with a customer who is promoting both their website and their app. Uh, within the same TV ad. On the left-hand side, we have the web visits. On the right-hand side, uh, we see the app installs. 
And so this is a snapshot of the exact same area. And what immediately uh, jumps out is that we can see there's a significant difference in the time delay from the, the TV ad airing at 1813 to the increase in traffic. So for web, that's almost instantaneous. People are watching TV, they pull out their phone, uh, and they go straight to the website. For app installs, there is um, a delay here. Uh, generally, this is any, it varies from vertical, um, size of the app, uh, type of engaged user, but generally we're looking at a delay of something like one to, to three minutes. Because the user not only has to go to you know, their phone, they gotta go to the app store, hit download, and then actually download the app before they can start using it. What this also leads to, um, and what we um, also can mention here, uh, is a delay in the total event duration. So looking at the web visits, we have around, uh, just around uh, four and a half minutes um, of an event. So we see an increase and then it rather quickly dies down again. When we're looking at the app installs, um, it's not uncommon to see almost a duplicate of that. So seven or eight minutes um, of event uplift because of that uh, delayed engagement and the variety across users. What I also would like to illustrate here um, on the left hand side and on the right hand side the difference in the baseline. So that's the, the orange line uh, depicted here. That is the um, baseline level of traffic that we have um, calculated. So we calculate all these things dynamically um, using our algorithms for every single event. So on the left hand side we see here there was a lot lower baseline traffic uh, for the web visits compared to the baseline for app installs. Now, when we get to the technical setup, uh, this is actually where it gets super easy um, for TV analytics because the only thing that we need on the YY side is for you guys to send us um, your TV commercials and we add them to the system. Once we have you added to the system, you will be provided um, with a YY customer ID and I'll let Marius. Uh, take it from there. Yeah, so just as mentioned by Chris, integration itself is, is pretty much straightforward from both sides. Um, from our perspective, in case you're running TV advertising campaigns for multiple apps of yours, you would just have to go ahead and enable this integration for each of, each of those apps individually. Um, once this is done, um, because basically you just navigate through our dashboard into app settings, uh, you select YY from the partner list and you en enter your customer ID, just as mentioned by Chris, so we can see the example on the slides. In this case, it's, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, once this is done, we will start sending each and every organic install or the user for whom we haven't seen any engagements in coming so far. So we assume that the user is simply coming from the app store. He just went there and he downloaded the app on his own. Um, and we start sending all of those organic installs once the module itself is activated. Upon which uh, YY would have seven days to respond to us with the attribution data and it will be updated and retrospectively displayed in our dashboard so that you could monitor how well performing your TV advertising campaigns are. Um, I will pass on here to Chris to explain what exactly is happening on YY's side at this point. So once we receive that install data, um, we immediately run it through our system for um, attribution uh, and matching to the client's um, TV ads in real time. And as soon as we are, uh, are confident of the, of the match, we send the data back to AdJust. And Marius will get back to that in a minute. But what we also do provide um, from YY's standpoint is a reporting dashboard with the all the app install information with a focus on the TV reporting. So on the, on the optimization on TV based on the install. 
what we do is we provide app installs for each single airing. We allow for a cost per install optimization across TV channel, TV creative, hour and weekday. And what we also do um, after that attribution is complete, we pass through that information on to end adjust, um, including uh, the time of the airing, the TV channel would be airing, so that further analysis can be done on um, in-app behavior. All right, so upon the receival of YY response, um, all the user attribution data is being updated accordingly. And of course, you can imagine that any post install engagements uh, within the app that have happened meanwhile will also be displayed, allowing to see accurate information on your users coming through your TV advertising campaigns and how they behave afterwards. Uh, you can then also monitor your user activity based on different in-app events, as mentioned, we can track anything you can specify within your app, so whether it's registration, purchase, um, if it's some sort of e-commerce app, we can track cart added items or so. Um, and obviously, you can compare these results among multiple TV campaigns of yours if you're running several of them, um, allowing you also to see results between different advertising sources, especially, let's assuming if you would be running campaigns outside of TV, you can compare different partners and how active your users are among those campaigns. Um, I guess here we can move on to the part where we start looking into results themselves um, and Chris will provide you a bit more feedback from their side how we should operate on that part. All right, thank you Marius. So absolutely, once we have um, all the, the, the tracking set up, um, we do the heavy lifting on the attribution, what we provide is the basis for optimization. And there are a couple of things that we at YY look at when we when we optimize TV campaigns for app install performance. So these are a couple of uh, best practices that we put together. Generally, we always like to compare um, weekdays, hours, TV creatives, and TV channels. And what we're looking for are, are larger claims. So we're rarely looking at the data at the single airing level, although that can be useful information to um, identify uh, really good shows or, or particularly responsive placements. But um, just to take uh, one example here, um, when we talk about optimizing and shifting our budget, what we want to look at is the cost per install. So we want to be moving from a low cost um, per install. <clears throat> we want to make sure that to move to a low cost per, uh, per install from a high cost per install. So anything that where we have expensive TV placements and we have a low number of installs, um, that's sort of a red flag that we're trying to, to look out for. And um, one good example is we had a, a food delivery service uh, that we worked with um, in the US. And what was really clear was that their best performing TV slots were prime time. So they got the most installs um, during prime time but from a cost perspective, what they were paying per TV ad, the most efficient placements that they had were actually early afternoon. So we definitely recommend not just looking at the, the absolute numbers, uh, but taking the cost data for the different types of bookings and the different channels into account to see um, how the next TV flight or how the next TV booking can be improved. Um, obviously, not only the install counts, but what the user does after that. I'm going to let Marius talk a little bit about um, post-install engagement. Thanks, Chris. Um, so yeah, from a just perspective, what we always try to communicate to our clients that it's, it's important not only to look at the numbers of the app installs themselves, but it's also you should also always pay attention to, to post install user engagement to see how active your users are within the app, how engaged they are with it, what sort of actions they're performing, and how can you influence them to 
to be even more active from that perspective. Um, and obviously, you need to optimize your campaigns also based on this information. Um, huge role in this process plays making sure that you not only that you track events, but you also identify the key objectives you want to reach with your campaigns. So defining goals, whether it's, it's frequent, highly engaged users or paying users or maybe even both, um, and, and you probably should move on in that direction. Because sometimes we see cases with the clients where they start tracking tens of different events, which yes, it's, it's a useful information. You can monitor user activity, but eventually you might get lost in the amount of data tracked and it might become overwhelming, especially once you realize that later on, uh, not all of those actually matter. So from our side, the, the key point here would be to make sure that you identify key objectives, key events that matter most, and you optimize your campaigns based on this information. Um, I guess that would be it from our side. And if Chris doesn't have any other additions to this, I believe we can move on to the questions. Yeah, I'm actually really happy to take um, a couple of questions. Sure. Um, thanks, Chris. Thanks, Marius, for your great presentations. I think we got a, a great overview of, uh, of the topic. Um, how you can benefit from attributing back installs to your TV campaigns and how to go about it, a few best practices. But uh, I also got some questions, quite a few actually. I'm going to run through them and address them to you guys individually. So the first question actually goes out to Christopher uh, and it's about setup time. So let's say I have uh, adjust installs, I have YY and I have a TV commercial that's airing how much time would it take me to get this integration set up? Uh, that is a really good question. And the I'm happy to say that we have a really quick turnaround. So if you're already using Adjust um, and uh, you have an agreement set up um, with YY, it will be um, the turnaround for a new TV campaign is within a business day. So it's the setup is literally a five minute job and the best part is you only need to do it once. Once you're set up with your customer ID um, and the Adjust plugin is set up, um, everything is, is automated from that point forward. And the only thing that we need are the new TV creatives. We'll map it to your customer um, and everything runs smoothly from there on out. Great, thanks Christopher. Um, as like in a good ping pong game, I'll pass it on to Marius now with the next question, which is uh, directed at Adjust. So um, the question is, what sort of information is being shared with YY in this uh, integration that we're uh, discussing here? I think very important, of course, for marketers that want to see what parameters, what kind of information is being shared and, and passed on. All right, sure. Um... When it comes to information shared with YY, as mentioned, we send only the organic users for whom we've, we don't find any engagements right at the time when we see an install tracked. So along with the user notification, we send information like device identifiers because that's what matters for us whenever we receive the response from YY. That's how we do matching on our site. So if we're talking about Android devices, we primarily a target, uh, we primarily are talking about the Google advertising ID. If it would be iOS device, it would be IDFA uh, value. Um, along with device identifiers, we send country, IP addresses, um, time zone, uh, certain device information and so on, like device operating system version, let's call it like this, um, which obviously helps out YYT also make sure that the users that attribute there as accurate as possible. And uh, maybe Chris could even elaborate on this part how the information is being used. Right, absolutely. So when we talk about um, app installs and attributing them to TV, obviously um, our algorithms take um, a, a number of factors into account. But there are a couple of basic um, principles that I think everyone will be able to follow. So the time zone. Um, and the geographic location of the user are important. For example, if you have um, airings in the U.S., um, you have airings on the East Coast uh, in Eastern Time, um, Eastern and Central. 
and then a couple of hours later, you have airings on, or three hours later, you have the same programming airing um, on the Pacific Coast. So just because you have um, the country, um, you're not able to, to do accurate attribution. The same is true um, of regional ads, um, for example, in the UK. So that regional um, and time zone information um, is important there. Um, then we have um, a number of other factors, um, uh, connectivity and uh, OS information that we're able to, uh, to aggregate um, and use with, uh, with uh, the information that we have available to have an, as accurate uh, TV attribution as possible. Perfect. Thanks, Christopher. Uh, I think I'll um, move on to a question that is uh, also directed at Marius. So adjust, and it's about uh, downward attribution. So it's, uh, the question goes as follows. So say the app is downloaded, but you don't uh, see a subscription right away. So let's say uh, Instagram, for example. So you download the app, but then you still need to subscribe. Um, how would that work? And is that still counted by uh, adjust as a successful download? Thanks, Thanks for the question. question. So, what we, what the core specificity of what is being tracked from a just perspective is, is the app install. Um, for that purpose, we can't really track app downloads from the app store because it's the metric uh, with which our adjust SDK or the, the tool which you have to integrate within the app for the analytics purposes uh, doesn't have access to. So basically what the first step we track for every user is not the app download but the first open or as we call it app install, meaning that as, as you provided an example, even if user downloads the app, if he opens the app, we already have the install there. Um, and assuming that there is a registration or anything else that, um, let's say, if, if there is any reason that user would like to uninstall the app afterwards, the install would already be tracked and obviously attribution processes themselves would be already initiated. I hope that that clarifies your question here. Great, thank you, Marius. Um, I had a, a question for Christopher, and it's actually two-folded. Uh, let's see if I get that across uh, properly. So the first one is, can you guys, um, apart from app installs, which is the scenario that we've talked about today at length, uh, also uh, measure website traffic? Uh, I think we can actually say you can do that, but maybe you can elaborate a bit on that. And then as a second part, mainly for uh, app installs, but maybe also for website traffic. Do you have any best practices of TV creatives that uh, during your time at YY you can say there's kind of uh, a pattern there, there's some things that perform better than others and lead to higher traffic and higher app installs versus other creatives? All right, absolutely. So the, the first answer is yes, absolutely. Um, we actually um, introduced TV analytics um, uh, at, the, at the very early stage um, designed for website traffic. It was only um, after um, you know, on demand from clients that we moved into the um, app attribution space, which was um, at the time a, a large challenge uh, because of the differences in the way that we, uh, that we uh, are able to attribute um, with the information gathered um, on the one hand, on the other hand, the, that delay from uh, from seeing the TV ad to visiting website, um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, was a really big challenge. One of the reasons that we're so happy to be working um, with Adjust uh, as a partner, uh, because of the quality uh, of the data that we receive, that um, that really lightens the burden on us and, and makes it a makes us uh, able to produce the same quality of, of uplift data for app installs um, that we also have for, uh, for TV analytics, um, which is our, our web analytics tool. The uh, second part of the question um, regarding the TV creatives is, yes, there are certain best practices, but it also depends on a lot of things, like um, what kind of a product um, are you advertising and what are you selling? You know, what is your industry? Um, 
a couple of things I can I can mention the the really uh, that we have noticed with clients the the clearer the call to action the better the impact so making it easy for the user uh, to know what to search for um, I, I'd say what to search for because uh, search is one of the strongest drivers um, of web traffic so even uh, even if you're advertising your own brand and you have your brand name.com people are still going to Google the brand name to get to your site. What we also have um, seen is that there is a trade-off between length of creative and cost of creative. So if you have a 15 second ad and it costs maybe two-thirds of, uh, of a 30 second ad, it may have uh, the same performance, a better performance uh, in terms of cost than the longer ad time. Um, running analysis with reminder spots or not having reminder spots. Um, sort of those, those uh, spots that run one or two minutes into the ad block uh, following on um, an, an, an ad you had earlier. So these are things that you want to try out. If you don't have a lot of experience with, uh, with running TV campaigns, if you don't already uh, know from like long-term brand analysis studies uh, what you think works best is try out different versions short ones long ones um, mix up the call to action and um, and try running with or, or without uh, reminder spots you know all depending on your budget but um, I think that's as in, in as much detail as I, as I dare go into today also in the interest of uh, maybe answering one or two more questions Perfect. Thank you, Christopher. I think, as you mentioned yourself, uh, the key is to test and to measure. And that's why it's so great that we have this uh, integration standing and that you guys at Huawei make it measurable um, for, for TV uh, advertising. So I, I think that's, that's kind of the, the key here to try different things because what works for uh, Zalando, for example, might not work for, for your company. So I think generalizing there is kind of the, the biggest error that you could commit. Um, with the next question, I would uh, tie into this. This one goes to Marius uh, on the adjust side, uh, and it kind of summarizes a few questions that I've been getting. So um, I thought I would pick out this one. So the scenario is that somebody sees the TV ad and then goes to the App Store page of that particular app, but uh, then doesn't download and install the app until days later. And maybe, uh, Marius, you could talk a, a bit about that scenario and how we address that. Sure, sure. Once basically, as I, actually, I did mention this during presentation, but um, um, obviously, as mentioned, whenever the module itself is activated, when the integration itself is enabled between Adjust and YY, um, every organic user or every organic install, we we don't find engagements at that right point of time is being sent to YY for the analysis, for in-depth analysis from their perspective, and mentioned. Um, General YY has seven days of the window to report back with us with, with the attribution information, which obviously afterwards will be placed under YY and displayed in our dashboard in the sense that you can monitor and see how active your users are coming from the TV advertising campaigns. So answering question shortly would be seven days. Perfect. Thank you so much, Marius. Um, good, good summary there that I hope is useful for those uh, of you who asked the question. Um, another question we got um, is, is about cost. So we talked about how easy it is to integrate those two partners, how uh, little time it takes to set it up. So basically five minutes uh, if you're skilled enough and everybody should be able to do that. Um, this one actually goes out to, to Christopher. So maybe you can uh, address the, the topic of uh, cost in more detail. Absolutely. So um, I think uh, just uh, to mention um, on cost, it's going to depend a little bit on your setup, um, what you require, and also what region when we're talking, you know, what kind of TV campaign you're running, what channels, what markets. Um, generally, we're in a mid-range um, four-digit number per month. But again, it's, it's going to depend um, on a lot of things. The good news is we offer a free test month. 
So if you're already using Adjust and you're running TV ads, uh, do reach out to us or reach out um, through your Adjust account manager. We will get you set up and you can test us for free, uh, no obligation for one month, and uh, there's no risk to, to try it out. Cool. Thank you, uh, Christopher. And I think with that question, we'll actually uh, wrap it up for now because most of the questions were variations of the things that we already talked about or just some other formulations. But uh, I think it was great that we had the time and could, took, uh, uh, could take that many questions, which is always great. And uh, yeah, I wanted to take the, the moment to, to thank you, Marius, uh, for your presentation as well as Christopher. Um, I know those guys uh, are curious to find out more from you, what you need, questions you might have. So yeah, just hit them up uh, after the webinar. We'll also send out the slides as well as the Q&A and uh, the recording so you can listen to it again. And if you see you have questions that we didn't answer uh, or new ones that come up while you watch it again maybe, then of course uh, don't, don't uh, feel awkward to get in touch with us. We'd love to, we'd love to hear uh, from you. Um, quick side note, on our end, we will continue to do those webinars. Uh, TV advertising and uh, attribution of mobile app installs is one of the many topics that we cover. So we've talked about uh, mobile fraud, for example, re-engagement, uh, retargeting campaigns, uh, attribution, and there's more to come. So um, video ads is a, a topic, of course, that's very, very big, not only TV ads, but video ads in general. So there's going to be more content on that. So just look out on our website uh, for the different webinars that we're doing each month with our partners. So uh, on that note, thank you again. Christopher and YY. Uh, it's been a pleasure working with you guys and Marius from the Adjust side. Uh, and for everybody, until next time. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Have a good day. Thanks. Thanks.